Okay, so if you know me, you know I put in my two weeks for... I really thought this car was just gonna park next to me. I was like, that's so awkward. Um, but I put in my two weeks for T-Mobile, so excuse my shirt, it's dirty, I just ate. Um, but anyways, yeah, I wanted to take you guys through my last week. Um, if you guys didn't know, I've been with T-Mobile for three years. Um, a little bit over three years, so a few months. But it's kind of weird, like I feel weird because I, this is all I've known for that long, you know? Like, you know when you're so used to like the same routine and stuff? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to take you guys through my last week, I don't know nothing different but yeah a week in my life i guess so today is monday the 16th um my shift was supposed to be 11 to 7 i didn't leave my house till like 11 30 11 40 i'm getting a call Hold on. okay i'm sorry guys i got interrupted but pretty much um that was my shift i left a little bit later for my house but my manager knew i was gonna be late so i had to go to another store to pick up a phone i get there and i'm waiting because they're kind of busy i'm like who am i to brush them um turns out they didn't have the phone so i kind of drove for nothing but i was enjoying my pizza and starbucks while i was driving there so it was fine um i drove to another store to pick up a different phone and then i drove to my store so i didn't actually get to work till like 12 30 ish um and then i came on my lunch right now and had chipotle and that's pretty much where we're at nothing exciting uh when i went to chipotle it was super awkward though because I don't know about you guys, I'm very antisocial, I hate getting off to places, like Chipotle is literally walking distance from my store and I drove there so I wouldn't have to like awkwardly walk and like have people look at me, I don't know, that's just me though, so, and it's hot too, I'm in Arizona, anyways, and so I get off and like on the opposite side is this guy who had just parked and gotten off his car too and we're both the same distance away from Chipotle, so like we're both kind of walking towards the door, like towards each other in a sense, and so we both get there and I reach for the door first because I like was like one step ahead of him and it was just so awkward because we were both kind of standing there because I like kind of opened the door for him in a sense and he's like oh, I was gonna open the door for you like um I was trying to reach for the door and I was like oh like I'm sorry like you're fine like don't worry about it and we just kind of awkwardly laughed and then I went and got my food and I left but I just realized how awkward I am like it was just like i don't like socializing um so it was just weird like maybe he didn't think anything of it but like for me like i don't know if it's because i overthink i was just like damn like that was weird but anyways yeah it's now 4 30 and i have to go back to work but i'm literally parked in the same parking lot but i gotta go before i get yelled at so so i have i'll update you guys later i should be off at seven but we'll see up to you guys what time guys, it's me again i'm sorry i look like i'm down bad um i couldn't wake up this morning so i woke up late and i just showered and ran to work um so just an update it is now wednesday so yesterday was my day off on monday guys i could not even end the video i was so annoyed at work like so annoyed and it had nothing to do with actual like employees or nothing like it was literally just customers um but I'm not going to get into that because, yeah. But anyways, um, that's why I didn't finish off my video on Monday. And then Tuesday, like I said, it was my day off. I got my braces off. So in case you guys can't tell, um, yeah. I'm super excited. Yesterday was a really good day, literally just because of my braces. Um, anyways, and now like I said, it's Wednesday. I came in at 9 in the morning and I just dirtied my pants. Um, it is now 2.18 and I'm on my lunch. I only have like 20 minutes left of lunch i got chipotle again um so i think this is what i got i don't know if i showed you guys on monday but the same thing i got a carne asada burrito uh, carne asada quesadilla with um guac the corn chili and sour cream um so yeah it's really good but i'm gonna eat my lunch watch some tiktoks i'll try updating you guys at night or not at night in the afternoon when i'm off i'm supposed to be off at five i might get off a little bit earlier just because it's slow um but i'm not sure so we'll see how the day goes and kind of go from there um but yeah so i'll keep you guys updated i'm gonna finish my chipotle now. okay guys so i'm gonna whisper because i feel like they could hear me but anyways it's yesterday wednesday um oh i worked nine to five i didn't leave till like six though um i got home and just chilled so i forgot to vlog for you guys Sorry about that. Um, I ate Subway though, so that was it. I really didn't do much. I did laundry, so. Oh. Also dyed my hair pink. It's too bright for me. I 
would have liked like this kind of like pastel like rose gold one but it's cool it's different i'm oh, fine and it is now well yesterday was not wednesday yesterday was friday yeah i don't know what day it is no more i'm sorry i'm bad at this vlogging um anyways and today is no today is friday no today's saturday what's today oh <laughs> it is friday today hey. anyways so today i was supposed to be off and they called me in to open and then i got here and i have to open and close so i've been here since nine and it's about to be seven so i won't probably leave till like 8 39. But anyways, that's what you guys haven't heard from me, and this is why I don't vlog, and this one. I'm so excited to not work no more. Love my job, though. No hate towards, like, my job. I just, I'm tired. <laughs> hey guys, um, literally ignore how I look, because, yeah, I just showered and left my house. But, anyways, um, it is Sunday now. Um, I ended up actually getting Saturday off, so... I think I told you guys I was supposed to close, I believe. I don't remember. Um, and then they found... Well, they didn't find nobody to cover me. I was still supposed to go in. But this other store didn't end up opening. So they went to help my store. So I got the day off. Thank God. I didn't do anything. I really didn't. Um, I went to Oregano's at the end. And then like at night. And then hung out with my friends. But other than that, I really did not do anything. Um... And then now it's Sunday. I'm supposed to go in at 10. It's 10.01, but I'm in the Dunkin' drive through so priorities. Um, so yeah, I work today 10 to 6.30, and then I believe I work tomorrow in the morning, and that should be my last day. Um, but I am so tired. Like, I had an alarm for 7.30. I did not actually wake up till, like, 9.10. Yeah, it's... It happens. Um, but anyways... I don't really know what else to say, like, nothing's been going on, um, I'm excited to leave, honestly, like, I'm excited to just have so much free time, like, what am I gonna do with so much free time, I don't know, but I was planning on buying, I don't know if I've mentioned it to you guys, on buying, um, acrylics, like, to do my nails, so, I've been thinking about that, I have it pulled up on my tablet, but I haven't used my tablet, so, I haven't looked at it, um, but I want to buy acrylics to start doing nails. I'm letting my nails grow out because I'm supposed to go to Disney next month in June. Um, and I want to get my nails done for it, so. I would do them myself, but I just, I hate how my right hand comes out because I'm left, I'm right-handed. So, it looks ugly. But anyways, I have to go, I have to text them that I'm gonna be late. Hey okay, guys, I'll probably update you when I'm out of work if I remember to. Um, but yeah. Hey guys, so it is now, I'll put down my ear real quick, sorry. It is now Monday, my last day. I actually already clocked out. I clocked out at like 5.13 or something. But it feels so weird. Well, honestly, right now it just feels like um, I'm off work because I worked. But it's just like, it's crazy, guys. Like, I don't know when I last updated you, but it's Monday. I worked 9 to 5. Um, oh. <coughs> sorry. Anyways, I wore my favorite shirt for my last day. So, I'd give you guys the OOTD, but it's literally that black jeans and then white pumas. Um, but anyways, it feels kind of like, I guess the wor word I'm looking for would be like surreal or something. Because I've been working for T-Mobile for three years. And like, literally nothing against T-Mobile. This is actually, I've only had two jobs. But this, like, I don't think any job is like as close and as like focused on leadership and development and like work all together as like the company at least the company that i worked for i don't i didn't work corporate so i can't speak like for everyone but like for the company i worked for i really can't say anything bad like about the people or anything like that um so it was good so it just feels surreal because like i've literally worked there for so long i've seen that's my bad angle I've seen, like, so many people get promoted, like, myself getting promoted, like, it, it's just crazy, you know, because I started when I was 19, I'm about to be 22 now, um, so it's a crazy, like, it, that's so wild to me, anyways, 
Um, yeah, now I'm at Starbucks and I'm gonna go home and eat and that's just, I don't even know what to say because like we're in so many group chats. So I'm like saying my goodbyes and it just feels so weird because I'm just like, I've been on this group chat every single day for the past three years. Like maybe not like communicating or posting, but like I'm always on, I'm always looking. So it's just so crazy to me. It feels weird. Like I made so many friends from there. So like I like don't regret working this job no more. Like honestly, like if it wasn't for like me feeling like I work a lot and wanting a better like work-life balance I would still probably be working there like honestly like I can't really complain but it's just so weird like literally this whole clip is just gonna be me being like this is so weird uh but yeah this is my last week well this is the video showing you guys my last week at the store I know it's literally just me talking but like what was I supposed to record like me talking to customers oh my god guys real quick though it, today I feel like I picked a good time to leave but just because like all LG devices aren't working and it was since like yesterday I got like two customers come in complaining about their service and I was just like mm, coincidence and then turns out like all LG devices stopped working so today literally back to back that's all we were getting and we got yelled at so many times today and like my man not me but well like i yelled at like once or twice but it wasn't bad like i'm used to it like I, that i could handle but like my manager my store manager got yelled at and threatened because she couldn't do anything about the phone but it's like lg just does not manufacture devices no more like there's so much we could do because your service is working it's your device but imagine like you're just getting back to back complaints getting yelled at like at one point my co-workers getting yelled at my manager's getting yelled at and i'm excuse me i'm always burping and i'm in between both of them and i'm just there like and i'm with the customer my customer was so nice like i'm honestly so grateful for the customers that are nice and talkative like i met some good people i meet some good people every day at work so it's cool like i think there's so many bad people like not so many bad but like there's some bad people like that are super rude and like don't understand but like those good customers like like, I remember, like, there was this one elder that I worked with. I used to work by, like, a... It was kind of like a retirement, like, city, um, I guess you could call it. But anyways, I used to work there, and there was this lady that would call me a saint because I literally helped her with every single thing. But she... Like, I helped her do things that we don't even do. Like, we're not trained for it. And I was just like, yeah, I'll figure it out. And, yeah, like, there's customers like that that I remember. Like, the other day, this customer came in just to pay a bill. And I was talking to him and turns out I'm the one that upgraded him a year ago at a whole different location because I moved around like three stores. Um, so it was just crazy. But yeah. Let me know if you guys want to see a video of like my experience working for T-Mobile um, or whatever the case may be. I don't want to post. <coughs> I don't want to post the company I worked for. I, I don't know why that would be important because yeah. But if you guys know the company I worked for, please don't comment it. I... Like, I would never want to, like, hurt their reputation. I don't think I'd ever say anything bad to hurt their reputation, but I just, I don't want to risk it. Like, I always wanted to make TikToks at work, but I didn't want to risk them getting in trouble for me making a TikTok, even if it was nothing bad, you know? But anyways, um, I think I'm up next at Starbucks. So, yeah, this might be the end of a vlog. So, that's my last week with T-Mobile, my very last day. Um, I'll post the last selfie that I posted on my chat right now. But yeah, guys, um, I'm excited to see what happens, what I do. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but I'm excited. I have so much time to figure myself out, and I think that's what, what I've needed. I just need time alone. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. If you guys want to see, like, what it was like working at T-Mobile, my thoughts, or, like, if you guys want to see, like, what I'm doing now. If you guys want to see, like, me working out. Actually, I'm not going to post me working out, but, like, updates on me working out. Um, I don't know. Nails. I need to do my nails. I don't know let me know what you guys want to see because i literally have all the time in the world now and i'm so excited for that so yeah thank you guys also if i worked with you guys i appreciate you okay, bye.